metal board working on magnets. This board is actually flexible. There can be a rigid one also. You can roll that up. Uh, there's the output cord and auxiliary input. Right now we're actually using a 9 volt battery under this pedal and you've got your input cord. You can simply take these pedals off and put them any direction you'd like, uh, location, without taking any cords apart. So for instance, let's say we want to change this uh, atmospheric pedal, the chorus pedal. As you can see, all the cords are actually hooked to the gravity boot, allowing this pedal to be changed in its location. Put this pedal in its location, different location. Everything's ready to go. And this is the Matrix. Actually, it's a roll-up flexible um, guitar effects board. This could also be rigid. This has a LED light. This is the guitar phono plug out. This is a input 9 volt adapter in. This is the guitar in. Um, each, um, this one is actually set up um, for a total of six guitar effects pedals. Um, this is your plus, 9 volt plus, 9 volt minus, input, output, signal. Uh, each one of these um, guitar effects pedals sits on a boot here that has all the cords on it. So as soon as you put the effects pedal down, that is ready to go. And you just put all your pedals on like that. I'll show you how quick it is. There are no cords to um, take in or out, plug in, no patch cords, nothing. You put that in, turn on the battery, which happens to be setting just under this pedal. For the purposes of this demo, I went ahead and used the X5. So this is the input, this is the output. I've got my guitar hooked to this. And you can see distortion. tuner. You got your tuner on, then of course it cuts it out. <laughs> Lastly, I'm going to switch these live so you pop off your pedal. Switch this. Switch this. Now, system is ready to go. The pedals are now in a different order. Grab your guitar. Lastly, this is a fully functioning pedal. Eventually, uh, there will be no cords. This one has the four cords routed directly down into the four pins, so you don't even need any cords. The power goes through, the in and out goes through. There's a four pin adapter cord, much like a USB micro that just hooks into the pedal. You'd have an out port, and now there's zero cords to even be plugged in fully functional.